not a big piece of concrete anyways. You sure you don't mind uh, the other dudes uh, talking in like the squad and stuff? Because I'm no, probably, probably working and streaming, but I can, you're fine. I can talk and... Okay. You're fine. Okay. okay. No, you're good. Um, okay. Here we go. Questions for the podcast. First question, and uh, everyone here. Uh, welcome. This is Alex Chamberlain, professional wrestler. Uh, this is the leader of Orcs. Um, he's been around for a lot one longer of, than one me. Of, one, of, one, of, one of the leaders. My fault, my fault. Um, but yeah, I'll just let him introduce himself. But there you go. That's, there's Alex Chamberlain. What's going on, guys? Alex Berg said, I'm uh, one of the war bosses for the Orcs Regiment. Um, I am the primary engineer for a lot of our building. So we're responsible for the Great Wall in Fairmore. Um, yeah, I'm having a good time today. I'm just recovering from a wrestling show from last night, so I'm kind of stuck in this chair today. I ain't moving, so Berg finally caught me at a good time. Yeah, he's been dodging me. He's been dodging me on this for a while. Nah, nah. busy man, busy yeah. man. He's busy man. So I've been eager. I've talked to Chamberlain a lot about balance over – a long period of time and we agree on a lot of things disagree on some things but most of the majority of the time we agree on stuff um but i'd like to get his ideas and um his impressions of the game and the first question i want to ask is what would you like to see changed balance gameplay features um this will just be the majority of the show what would you like to see different what features would you like to see added or removed um, and just generally, what would you like changed? That's the main question with this. In Foxhole's health. Hold on, bro. Um, Let me go into Foxhole. I, think I got someone. We, uh, we used to listen to this song before, uh, before Hold yeah, Fast Line. So bad. Who made that flag for you? That flag behind oh, me? I need one. Oddball. I need one. Oddball yeah. made me that. Um, Oddball? Yeah, Oddball gave Oddball. me that. I might have to hit yeah, it's clean, isn't it, dude? I love that thing right above my bed. So fucking cool. Yeah. I, I want to put it right above my, my little Red Sox mirror I have behind me. Yeah, dude, I, I really like it. Then oh, I got my Chief badass. stuff over above my stuff. And, yeah, man. I, I was really, He sent it to me for free, too. Absolute unit. I give him a shout-out all I'll the pay, time for I, it. I'll, I'll pay him money for that, man. I was like, fuck, that's awesome. Um, yeah, absolute unit. Oddball. If you ever watch these YouTube videos, fucking love you, dude. Thank you. I get so many compliments on it. Um, but yeah, man, what, uh, sorry, I had to meet that guy in game. I'm still kind of pulling stuff in Voxel. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the same, I'm doing the same thing. I'm, I'm playing and, and, uh, QRF right now. Can I pull this over? I don't think I can. Anyway, uh, this will be the first time you've ever seen game stuff. Anyway, um, so yeah, what, what would you like to see change? Uh, massive bulk, re you know. Um, so, so for me, the big change that needs to happen is... It's the Q population. It's the Q system, like the population Q balance. I call it the uh, fun limiter, meaning mm -hmm. that when you are in a hex that is a front line, there is a mechanic in the game that basically limits how many people you can spawn into that hex if the wardens do not have an equal amount of people in that hex. So that works in theory but it doesn't work in practicality because the wardens outnumber us in population. So total, like total um, numbers across the entire game. I now, mean, if you have two, if you have a thousand wardens and a thousand collies, that could work. But obviously, the, the data that has been released has shown that that's not the case. So we're playing with an arm behind our back to begin with. Now, with this fun limiter, that basically means that if we have um, 20 guys fighting at a bridge and the wardens have 15 guys fighting at a bridge and we have 10 dudes trying to get in to support those 25 guys, they can't get in because the, the, the game dictates that you can only have an equal amount of guys fighting at a certain location. Now, that's all well and good, but if we start to win that fight, right, if our 25 starts to beat their, their 20 to 15, then what happens is is that the Wardens will put up a flare saying QRF in the world chat. Then all of a sudden, 30 Wardens will spawn in to that town hall and rush the bridge. All of a sudden, that fight goes from being 25 to 15 to 
55 on 25 because all the dudes who are waiting to spawn in are all on borders and they have to still drive to that border and so what happens is that the wardens if they don't want to fight at a certain or the colleagues do we do it at not only is it happen happening at um tomb of the first and uh mercy's wish it also happens at lockheed and at, in marvin hollow we do the same thing to the wardens like so it's not a collie warden thing or work the collie thing this is a pretty much abuse mechanic on both ends but it's kind of a uh, bs mechanic because if you have dudes who want to play the game with you they can't like they have to sit there and wait in queue and like that's a bit and for me it's a barrier of entry for a lot of new players because when you want to spawn into a hex and you're like oh i want to go fight with my friends my friends are in this hex right now but the fun limiter is kicked in because only x amount of wardens who are willing to fight there and they go, nah, you can't fight here right now. So what they basically want you to do is go to the back line and go bang on some trash. Some well, trash. and the other thing that to me is even the, it's the bigger slap in the face is we know the limits of the hexes are 120 per side. And when, you know, you hit F1 and you scroll through and you see 20 guys and you're like, how is there a cue to this hex, dude? You're like, stupid. Why am yeah, you know? Like, so many times. Like, well, like if you think about it, like this hex, so the hex we're operating out of is Lockmore mm -hmm. for two and a half weeks now, roughly two and a half weeks. There's never been more than thirty-five guys in our hex outside of when the wards QRF us, and that gives us a little bit of a population boost. But they dictate the terms of the fight. That's so stupid. That like. The enemy team that is playing defense should not dictate the terms of the fight. The offensive team should. Like that that removes all the fun out of the game when the defense dictates the terms of how big the fight can be. Cause then that's dumb. Like there's no option for us to make a play. All we can do is push with our limited numbers and then react to their overpowering defensive numbers. I just think that's that's a that's BS, man. It shouldn't be how it goes. So let me ask you two more questions off this. One, could you possibly? Well, the first question I need to ask is how would you solve said problem? And two, if they didn't have the fun limiter in, do you think it would get abused? I mean, yes. I, there's always the, the the reason why we don't have a lot of fun elements in this game. We don't have a lot of things is because we abuse it people have to have a a lot of people have to have a win at all cost min max abuse every so, single system in this game to win at all means possible sure there has to be limits i understand that but i think in terms of what should be the fix for it should be in my opinion there should be no limits on cues. Now, now, Robert actually presented a better, I think it was a, a, a cleaner, more efficient terms of what it should be. He said, like, a limit of after 50, the mm -hmm. fun limiter should kick in. Which I, I'm actually not, I'm actually not, um, oh, one second. I'm getting, uh, getting a ton of messages right now. They, everyone wants to send storm cans right now. <laughs> so well, everyone's hitting us up in the region. Little right. do you guys know in this so YouTube we're like, video. We're, we're like live podcasting yeah. right now. We're like producing storm cannon rounds while getting ready to pound the words. In. Right now, we're in a storm uh, cannon fight. And I'm showing uh, the viewers in the YouTube video why we're oh, like okay, semi distracted, like putting up. Con Did you? Are you at um, Tomb right now, by the way? I'm at Tomb right now, yeah, repairing all the defenses from the last volume. Yeah, yeah look, at, you're at my howitzer. Look at that. This howitzer oh, right here. You built. Yeah, come oh, come inside here. Really nice. Come inside here. Oh, come come look at this, bro. You can build. Look how pixel perfect this oh, thing was. Shit, that's tight. I read that was one. That wasn't one single structure. No, this is this is Ooh. two three by ones. Well, it's it's that's four. Nice. But yeah, yeah, dude. We um, me and Hazy, yeah, pixel really perfect, bro. You come in here and you can hit Red both. Boat. Yep. Nice. Yeah, you can you can rep both pieces from one. But anyway, back to the podcast. Sorry, that was just to give you guys some insight on what's going on, um, why Chamberlain's kind of half distracted, and why I got people in my ear too. Um, we're shooting some storm cannons, and maybe we'll add this in the video. Probably will. Um, 
Yeah, I like what Robert did, um, Robert said, where it's there's a certain limit, and we all know that limit, and maybe have it to where there is a... I, I really like the Helldivers thing with like a... Um, with a order system like a, a major order system so like let's say that we're in what is the vehicle that you need for the bardiche tank? we were defending linda mercy uh, right comes out of garage um let's say we were defending linda mercy and we were i gotta get rid of that um and then we were getting slammed right if they had it to where um there was a major order at the home region saying instant qrf needed at such and such base that way, it's like when there is a overwhelming number of players, at least you're informed. And if you don't act on it from that point on, then it's your own team's fault. Like, I, yeah. you know, I think that would be a way better approach to it to let us defend and or attack on our own terms, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I mean, the key system, I think – a lot of people and i would say a overwhelming amount of people since that got dropped would agree the old population system is outdated and needs to be moved um but we'll see anvil Envir anvil empires is coming out um and that's the new servers and the new stuff like that right so maybe that can steer us in the right direction um is there anything else you want to see? Um, I mean, I would love to see more. I, I would definitely love to see, like, dedicated QRF. Like, the, that's one thing that I'm a little jealous the Wardens have because they're really good at doing the whole, like, throwing up a flare and getting instant QRF in every hex that they need. So mm -hmm. I wish we kind of had that, but that's not really the Kali play style, I guess. Like, we have a different... Oh, they, they're... That's kind of a cool thing about this game, though, is that we have literally different cultural differences in how we play and defend the game. So culture. Um, <laughs> like, well, I mean, it is, oh no, it's it is. it's like, just a we, joke, we though. A we have a different. We have a different. We have we have different media consumption. We have different like you know like the wards don't like Twitch. Like they more support YouTube, YouTube content creators. Like they don't really support Twitch creators. Like because mm -hmm. in the warden culture, like yeah, Twitch is a Intel league. You know, they're super mm. against it. That's why they don't have a lot of Warden streamers for Twitch. You know, and a lot of... And we, we, we find out we find out the hard way sometimes that, you know, the Wards like to stream and like to watch our streams and it doesn't work out so well when we want to do the little sneaky ops. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 100%. It is what it is. It's the nature of the beast. You know, it's it's the responsibility and, and you know, the, the stuff we have to take when we become streamers. Like, we can't... We can't... We can't stream and show them what we're doing you know oh I yeah the hard way again the other day like i was kind of hoping that i always hope for the i always hope i always hope for the best that you know people are gonna play fair and straight but unfortunately that's not the case you know like you found that out yesterday i found that out two days ago you know i mean whenever you try to do sneaky ops there are all of a sudden you go from you scout an area for, for 10 15 minutes and I'm like, okay, this is great. This is a great opportunity. Boom. Go back. Load up some stuff. Come back. All of a sudden, there's gates. There's wall. Poof! There's defenses! Boxes, <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of armor and a bunch of dudes waiting for us. And I'm like, ah, oh, well, 30 minutes ago, this wasn't here. I'm like, this is real weird. What a coincidence! Oh, guess, you know, that's just coincidental. I want a quickie, Nick. I'm like, oh, man. Like, you can't call out any individual for doing it, but... Oh, yeah. You, you know someone is like it, oh, it yeah. is what it is like i've you know i i try to be an optimist but you know there's a practicality that has to come into oh yeah stuff too but i mean you know i think i would love to see more of a qrf i would love to see a qrf regiment for the colleagues i think that would be nice to have like guys who are just dedicated to supporting failing fronts or places that are in trouble but you know there's some guys that there are a lot of active you know solos that do it but yeah it's kind of nice that 82 dk is like that group you know what i mean like they're an active frontline group but then at the same time like they're willing to pull up pull up and deploy anywhere at any given time mm -hmm. so that's kind of a cool element of the war and stuff that we don't really have that yet yeah i i've said it a lot and i i i think it's really funny a lot of people you know 
I, I know there's a f fake or fictional trash talk or hate between wardens and colleagues and stuff, and it's true. It's, you know, we, but um, I, I do give them a lot of respect in the regards of how well they do um, get what they want in the hexes that they want them in. I mean, they really, yep. they work as an army. I've said that many times, and we work like a PMC faction. And that does work, yeah. you know, but they, yep. Yep. I mean, they're one army, man. They they are all on the same page, and then you kind of have the colleagues where it's like, we kind of stay in our own lanes, and if you were with kind of what we were wanting to do, then you work with me, and then we're kind of, right. you know. It's more and, like a working agreement more so than, uh, uh, you know, like, it, it, there's more diplomacy involved in the colleague side than the warden side. The wardens are more, um, they more rule the benevolent dictatorship, whereas the colleagues are a little bit more democratic. And mm -hmm. both sides have the pluses and minuses, but you know, they, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting to see like the dynamic that is different between the two sides. I, I think it's pretty cool. Like I like, I, you said, I'm a lifer colleague. It's, it's, I like what the way we do things. Like I want more player agency and like my decisions for our regiment. You know, mm -hmm. so I like the fact that we're not told what to do by anybody. You know, I, I feel like I have enough hours. My group and like enough, and a, and a lot of our veterans yeah, in our group have enough hours in the game that like I very much trust our decision making. So like, I don't want someone telling us, "Oh, you're going to do this, this, and this." Like I wouldn't be able to. Oh, I'd be like, immediately when someone tells me what to do, my my first instinct is to be like, "No." Even if I'm wrong, <laughs> I'll, I'll immediately resist that. I'd be like, "Go ask yourself, dude." Like how you gotta do that? Like. <laughs> That's yeah, such yeah, a Kali mentality, thing. bro. I just, yeah. it's so funny. Like, cause, even if I'm wrong, I'm going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm, bro. I'm going to be like, I'm going to double down and be like, no. No, <laughs> fuck you. I'm dying on this ship, dude. Yeah. I'm dying on this hill. Yeah, but, but the Warren, but the Warrens are more in line with that mentality of, like, oh, yeah. you know, their groups are, are larger and thing. more coordinated. So they have a, and that, that, is, that Everybody, works for them, though. They get wins, yeah. man. Like, you can't deny, well. you can't deny the Hey, what the, f the, the hey, wins, what the? Like, set doesn't produce results. It does. We need they, squad they, they get W's for that, with that mentality. Like, you will do this or else. <laughs> they have an iron hand, man. And it's, and it's cool to see that. Squad, but like, at the same time, I'm like, look down, like, you fucking blues, tr you blue try hard. Dude, like, no doing. way. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I can't do that. You know? I, would, I would instantly fight every one of those dudes. I'd oh, yeah. Beat the brakes up, all. Oh, yeah. You know well, I mean? so it's just yeah. different culture, man. Like, everyone, each side is different. They have, they have their process of minds, which I love about this game. I love that about this game. So, talking about pluses and minuses and differences, one thing I think would actually be a really cool um, twist on the game that's not very thought of or maybe um talked about yet so a lot of people talk about how um there is a bunch of disparity in tank balance at balance infantry, whatever balance what i think would be very interesting and i want to know your take on this why do we have the same facility buildings as wardens why do they have the same facility buildings as us now, I understand right, from a balance I point. I think it honestly is the devs only have so much time to dedicate to the basic facet of the game that they can't really give us a, um, a unique approach to the facility element until it's really fleshed out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, they just did a massive um, change, like, right? And I don't have a problem with them having an advantage on land because we beat the brakes off them on sea. You know what I mean? Like we have a we have a very blatant advantage when it comes to the 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 naval aspect of the game and I'm okay with that because I like a lot of the naval aspect. Like our boats, like I know people don't really use the boats, but our boats like beat the sh uh, forgive my language, beat the shit out of there. Like they're oh, I boats cuss all the time. Garbage. You're more than welcome to cuss on yeah, this they're, podcast. They're boats, oh, okay, okay. I, 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 yeah, I, I cuss all the fucking time on here. Yeah, I know. But our boats beat the sh our, our gunboats, like, once you learn how to use our gunboats, they beat the shit. I killed seven of their gunboats yesterday with one. Seven. Yeah, I think like, the boats, problem is garbage. Like, there's not an incentive right now. Like, the landings, yeah. the, the queues have a problem with the naval being an advantage, that, and also having... Um, 
no incentive on the naval hexes. Um, I agree with you. I think if naval was a more of a predominant factor, I think it would really be effective because our tanks aren't that far off. Yeah, I mean, look, and they're look, look how look at how useful our look how useful our destroyer was today taking out Fort Duncan. Oh yeah. I mean, like, oh yeah. That that just stuck it. That just stuck in there and deleted an oh, yeah. entire strong a warden storm cannon stronghold in under five minutes. Like our our stuff is is far superior. Like now, granted, we have to be more sneaky about it. Yeah, like you're right though. Like is 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 as the islands do not have VPs, there's less incentive to protect them. There's ways you can incentivize that by having like a higher rare metal drop in the islands. I think that'd be a quick fix. If like rare metals don't really drop in mainland, but they drop double in, in the islands, yeah, all of a sudden resources will become important. You know what I mean? Or, yeah. In my opinion, they should be VPs. I, I they think they need to. Need to. The islands VPs. I yeah. think islands should, because like, it, you can't win on islands alone, um, and you wouldn't be able to sustain off them alone. But the fact that you can have cross world travel, plus that and well, yeah. Like, there's just so many opportunities. Like, I think people are yearning for a legit D-Day. Like, we had one in Origin, the first war that Naval came out, oh and that was God. sick, How dude. Was that, dude. That was that sick, advice. dude. That half they track on the beach, they, dude. They, yeah, they, bro. They changed the map because of that. Bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, how, we, how we all fought that war. They looked, Oh, yeah. The devs went through and go, oh, well. Well, these guys holding this origin just can't. We just can't have this because it's not fair. Because we beat the shit out of. Oh, them. dude, and literally, the the devs changed the map because of how we held. So we, me, you, and like, and uh, and Bunny and Blood and all that held origin. How how they changed the map because of that. What was so funny about that was they didn't even kill us. They had to encircle us. And starve us out. And the fact of the even was, they yep. didn't even starve us out from the inside of like normal Lodgy. They just killed all of our Vicks after a week of being cut off. Yeah. And that was and the only showed, thing. Uh, that, that, that's what showed the devs that they're like, oh, this hex is too. And they made it, to be honest, they made it way worse for the wardens to push because now they can't land like partisans anywhere in yeah. Origin. So it actually, like, the only reason we're not in Origin right now because they. They delete. They got rid of the refinery and the factories, and like, there's no intention to build there. But as soon as an east-west war comes out, and they put and they put factories, oh, and, yeah. uh, refineries there. If you don't think I'm building a double thick, <laughs> there, <laughs> dude, <laughs> we're gonna howitzers on every piece of coastal defense there. Oh yeah. If they think a battle should push that, good luck, dude. Oh yeah. You have a hundred. You have a hundred. You know plus. 120 rounds clap back with hit in one piece like are you enjoy that like i'll build the most ridiculous hmm you good excuse me sorry dude i had a dude just brought up a towel to 100 for a 300 for us just to shoot oh my god check it out i need to start uh, running back we're, we're, in produ we're in crazy production mode right now we're like in fast like we're about to send send five hundred storm cannon rounds to the wards the fun way in a second. I, I'm I'm gonna uh, produce. I'm this is gonna be a special uh, podcast episode, guys. This is gonna be totally different than any other podcast. A live stream of yeah, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna take a peek see at my um, damage. So if you guys also don't know, um, Orcs and Bone have been working together for probably four wars now. Uh, give or take, helping each other, whatnot. They built this massive chunker, and we help fund it a little bit, and we always help each other. I mean, we 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 help each other out a lot. So, um, in this in this regards, like um, we uh, we help build it, so they're gonna let us shoot them, but. Um, you know, just not going off on anything. Um, is there any new vehicles you want to see? Is there any new um, tech you want to see? Like anything that you think that is missing from the game that just definitely should be there that's not? Oh, sorry. Well, uh... 
Sorry, Berg. What was that? I was telling your boys how to deliver the shells. To oh, you're to you're good, dog. Weekend. I was just pulling back here I so I could. Uh, uh, so no, you're good, man. Like I said, everyone knows. I've said it. We said it a few times. This is a different podcast than we've ever done. So, um, I was asking: Is there any vehicles, any tools, any you know, anything that you would like to see added eventually in Foxhole? Meaning anything like? Um. So for me, um, being completely biased to engineering in the game, um, I would love to see two things, two vehicles, and I'd be super happy because. I'm pretty happy with the state of the game as it is. Uh, I think engineering building for for the layman's is uh, is um, needs to be adjusted, obviously for some quality of life stuff. But for me, I would love to see an excavator, like a pure excavator that's um, dedicated to late game. It can be a tier three facility lock building uh, vehicle. Um, I would love to see an excavator, whether it's a CV or a crane uh, yes. modified. Because digging in the late game is tough. It sucks. Digging in the late game is absolutely ridiculous. They have to use a shovel. Going in the late game to rebuild stuff that's going to be destroyed in 20 minutes with 150s and 120s. You know what I mean? Oh, so true. So, so true. And then a concrete mixer would be nice to deliver concrete a little more fast. Um, they've had the asset built in the game for two years. They just have not released it to the public. I don't know why. But they've had the ad. If you can go in the Foxhole, um, not Foxhole stats, but you can go in like the Foxhole Reddit. The devs have shown us a concrete mixer they had made, like a vehicle made for some reason. Yeah, they have it. Oh, uh, sorry, I, I must have um, missed. I didn't hear what you said. Sorry, I was, I, I, I was knew we had a concrete mixer like emplacement thing. Um, I, I just guess I didn't see the vehicle thing. Um, So, <laughs> uh, a personal devil. <clears throat> Sorry, dude. I was no, you're hit, good. Hit, hit the wrong uh, a personal devil just had a really cool idea too. Um, so you know how the Raptura is a thing. Hold on, we're. What's our number at, boys? Yeah, I'm on security, Judy. Sorry, Bird. I was just getting the, uh, the, the numbers situated. No, you're good. Um, so, um, a devil said something really cool, by the way, too, um, to add on to your concrete mixture. Yeah. So, you know how there is um, the flatbed? Well, imagine if they made a flatbed variant that you could throw, like, EAT or a Polybobos on. Or a Raptura. Yeah. Or a 94.5 type a, truck. Well, I don't know if you know this, but they have a, um, they have actually have a, uh... Um, they actually have a, uh, mortar... I don't know if you know, they had a mortar uh, three-way uh, fixed up, too. They've had that for two years. Hmm. It's in on a mortar um, EAT emplacement. Just to use for backline defenses, like how a mortar house works. They've actually had that, they've had that asset sitting on for a year and a half now. They just don't release it. There's so much of data mined out that like they have for engineering. They just don't, they just don't want to release stuff for engineering for some reason. I don't know what it is. It's pretty frustrating sometimes. Hmm. Well, that being said, concrete mixer. Um, now, with the excavator that you want in, what tier would it be yep. able to dig up slash dig out? Would it be able to dig up concrete? Tier, th tier three. I think it should be a tier three vehicle, and it should be able to dig up concrete. I think I'd be fine with that. Because, like, tier... Because ACVs come out in tier two, that can dig up tier one, tier two, tier mm -hmm. three is like later in the war. That should be able to dig up tier three. I think that's a fine. Um, I think that's a fair trade off because you don't want to make base building too easy, right? Because mm -hmm. you don't want to be able to lay concrete in a day. 
it should take a couple of days no matter what. Like, I, and I understand that. Like, but at the same time, if a group is willing to hardcore grind to engineering, which is the most boring part of the game. And like, the most unloved, by the way. Debate that. Yeah, 100%. There's no reward for it. Dude, I'm at, I'm at 70,000 building at this point. I cannot earn any more commands for building this game. I could build another million. I could dig and, and, and hand, hand build a bunch of stuff. I cannot earn commands. I haven't earned a command in like three days. I've been hammering nonstop and building with an ACV. I've been digging and building nonstop. I have not earned. I'm at, I'm at four right now because of damage. Like you can't, you can't build, you know, there's only so much that they cut you off. So, you know, it is what it is, man. Like, you know, but I'm fine with that. Just give me something that makes the building a little bit easier. That's all I ask. Hmm. Now, with the third question, what do you think the state of Foxhole is in right now with the new um, data, not data leak, I guess it's a data drop. Um, with the new data being dropped about the pop caps and the wardens having a higher pop, what is the solution for the devs to address this pop? How do you uh, how do you incentivize um, pop for one side over the other? To be honest, as dumb as it sounds, give the college a cool tank. That's all we need. You give us a cool tank, like an HUD, it, you fix the pop right there. I hate it. It's 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 simplistic and it's not. I would love for it to be a complicated, nuanced thing. Mm -hmm. It's two things: give us a cool tank, give us some really cool lore. Yeah, that's, that's two things. They give us no love on lore. Like the most apparent, the most blatant, the most blatant showcase of the the warden that the devs have a have more inspiration for the wardens over the collies is the fact that it was the uh super tanks super heavy i knew you're going the there Ares. yep and the aries the air the predator was like this is a beautiful tank and it's it was showcased against the war the collies against this and this war blah 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 it was like it was like it was like it was like the it was like the Iliad, you know what I mean? Like, they gave a full, like, five paragraphs. And then for the Ares, it was Collies, a super tank. <laughs> that was it. It was, like, so embarrassing. I was like, bro, Julian, I get your award, bro, but you got to try. And then, like, a week later, they were like, the Ares. Collie super tank stolen by wardens. Wardens used it against the Collies, and it destroyed everything. And it was like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, <laughs> that was your, that was your response. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, dude, you get that your favorite child, but like, don't tell us that. You don't tell your kid. You don't tell fucking Susie that Tommy is like poor. Like, this what? You really want Susie selling herself on the side of the street? Fuck, fuck dude. Stop. Fuck. Come on, man. I um I always make the joke um when a lot of my guys start getting on the copium train I'm just always like hey you better watch out Julian's fucking gonna come tell you be happy to be happy you're playing the game you know you have a spot in my servers you better watch out you know yeah it's I hope that I hope that's his mentality I hope that's not the devs mentality. I hope is a I hope I hope their mentality is I want to make as much money as possible I want to make the best game possible because they're sitting on a billion dollar gold mine if they get this game right if they can get the R2 engine from Anvil dialed in this is a billion dollar game franchise that is going to be the best MMO that has come out in 20 years if they can get this stuff right if they can dial in the the population and make this fun for the new experienced gamer this game has unlimited potential otherwise someone's going to come in and steal this idea because this is this is freaking unreal what these guys are sitting on the potential of this game for an mmo there is no mmo that has a community as dedicated and as integrated and as global international you have the chinese you have the russian you have the french the germans the swedes you have countries from all over the world working bypassing yeah, language right. barriers all that trying to work together to get mm -hmm. this working you know what I mean? Like, 
Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's, it's no brainer, man. I mean, if they, oh my God, I'm hearing rip. I'm Scottish. Eh, I'm Scottish. Oh my God. Anyway, like it's, they, I mean, I, I've said it many times. Money if they get it, if they get it right, man. Yeah. I mean, there's no question about it in my mind. Um, if they really dialed in the, the balance, the player pop and what the players wants and needs are make it really worth our time and you know i i wouldn't mind paying for it i wouldn't mind paying for anvil 2 if um I, uh, anvil 2 i wouldn't I'll mind paying pay. for anvil I'll if they pay. drop a if they drop foxhole 2 with plain hey daily um you know planes naval all of it balanced well, you know everything just no hex just no just no hexes hex, one big map Can you imagine how badass the game would be with no hexes no one having to load in and wait for queues. Dude, you know how many people would be playing this game right now if there wasn't queues? Mm. Probably 10,000. Easy. But most people sign into the game, they go, 15 minute queue? Nope. I'll go play Call of Duty. Something else. Fox, I'll go you know. play Call of Duty. I'll go play Helldivers. Like, you don't need, people don't need to wait today to play video games. You know what I mean? So, like, the queue balance in this game, queues are the biggest barrier of entry in this game. They fix queues, they fix the game. And they make tons of money. They make millions. You know what I mean? Oh, like, yeah. That's it. That's, it. That, that's the biggest thing. Like, I see this game from a business point of view. Granted, like, this is the best video game I've ever played. This is hands down my... I put 4,500 hours of my life into this game. You know what I mean? Outside of wrestling, I've never put them in this game. To anything. I believe in this game. I believe in what this game has for potential. I believe in this game's philosophy. Like, you know, there are a couple things I disagree with on balance, but, like... That's minimal. You know what I mean? I don't give a shit about gear, tanking. All I want to see is this game grow 20,000 players a day. Because I want to see the big super map they they plotted out for. When you open the map up and you zoom all the way out, you see the big map as it is. That's what I want to see. I want to see that whole map be. I want to see naval armadas floating out there. You know what I mean? I want to see this game grow to like 20,000 players and seeing 1,000 on 1,000 fighting on the fronts, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, this game could be legit that. trench warfare. You know, I don't know how many mm -hmm. times you've had it, 100%. but you know what I'm talking about when the front is like, I mean, an absolute back and forth banger, and it is like both are tooth it's, and nail. It's, it's peak gameplay, man. You can't get better than that, man. You can't. Yep. I mean... I, War 83 is my best, you know, example of that. Sorry, uh, Berg, I'm delivering our 300s right now to our first uh, Storm Cannons. Oh, you're fine. I'm at one of the Storm Cannons just chilling. Hmm. How do you spot the storm cannon? Sorry. By the way, you foxhole stats it, and then you dial it in once you get in the hex. Mm. Right on. Pretty easy. Normal, Artie. Pretty much, storm cannon is a little easier because it's more spray and pray, depending on the um, the room. Now, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put you on the spot now, Alex. What um. What do you think needs to be done about the AT situation, both teams? About the what? AT situation, infantry, anti-tank. Um, they could give more. It's to be honest, it's, it's mobility. I think it's a little hard to move around in the game considering its current mobility. Uh, I'm gonna assume that they're pretty much addressing the infantry issue going into the coming year because they said they're adding no new. Like, major mechanics of the game mm -hmm. so i'll wait and see and to see what they do but like they could probably give the collies i think the collies they need to give um a, a variant to the bardiche that you know they have, they have the rancer for pve mm -hmm. they should give us a rancer variant that is, is tank PVT, hunter like, yeah you know player versus the tank hunter 
and instead of um, RPG, it's ARPG, so it's it's uh, APRPG, so it's it's solely for its banes instead of the cutlers mm-hmm. on the on the specific, on the um, the the Quadish, mm-hmm. uh, or it's the Ransor, right? Ransor, so, yep. Yeah, so I'd be pretty happy with that. I think that'd be a pretty cool, uh, a pretty cool. Like I, I'm, I'm not, I'm not really that hung up on our AT. Like, yeah, the flask needs to be adjusted. A I don't bit. think so. I like, really, I think the ignifice I mean, like, needs not, more adjusted. To be honest, if they just give the, yeah, if they just give the ignifice a no bounce chance, I'd be happy with that. And it, I honestly, it can't bounce. It pens. Here's the other thing that it, might be because the flask does. The, the flask never, even if flask misses, it hits. I just think that it you know should. I mean? um, the problem I have with it is the auto equip thing that absolutely just oh, the, the, kills me dude that does suck yeah, yeah it's slow because you're slow running with it too like if you give no bounce but, but if you gave it no bounce chance plus auto equip like i i could see where the wardens would be pissed off too but we don't have the track chance the turret you know what i mean so it'd be like we would just yeah. be doing straight damage why they would be doing the you know critically killing stuff and you know, if you're out to kill a tank manager a partisan, yeah, the Ignifist would probably be the better choice then, but if you're on a front line, the Flash would be the king. You know, you track a tank on a front line, dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's getting hunted. Um, so, I mean, all in all, I just... I want to know if you have any other, like, thoughts on the game or what you just want to tell to anyone. Like, I know you want QRF, I know you want no cues. Um, small balance tweaks aren't, aren't such a big thing to you. Oh, he's talking about the storm cannons. Yeah. Sorry, hey, everyone's. We got guys asking us. We got like ninety second. We got so many dudes asking us in hex and in person. Like, when do you guys start in shell? I'm like, just wait, man. Need 500, 500. Do it right one time. Um, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not gonna send just, just ten and call it good. Like I want to send them a hundred, five hundred total. Big old fuck you. Oh yeah. So, I'll give you two seconds. I hit the bathroom real yeah, quick. One second. Ugh. So, chat. What do you guys? What do you guys think? Is there anything you guys want to add in here? I actually personally like the um, emplacement idea on the back of a flatbed. I think it could be strong, but I think it could be a last-ditch effort for AT on the front. Hmm. They built up too much technical debt to the point of... Having a project bankrupt happen, lol. My thoughts, anyways, from a 23-year-old programmer from 9 to 32 years old. Yeah, I, I think, I really think the Ignifist really needs some love. I don't think even the Wardens disagree with it. I would really like to see the Venom come down in a few tech trees. Only because the ATR can keep us at a distance as collies and the typhoon can just get killed and not re-picked up and yeah I think tank variety would be nice realistically you'll see four tanks from a collie three three tanks really a bargish an LTD or a spatha I mean Outside that. Mm. I don't know if we need an LTD replacement. I think they're really good on the flanks. Here, here's my suggestion. I don't know why a lot of people don't like it, but I think it'd be really cool to get like a jumbo style tank in the game, um, where it's 
you know, eh, armament. Like, I want a Bardiche to be a Bardiche. I want it to be 40 meters range, but I want it to be a high velocity. Um, see, but that's where I, I just can't balance it. You don't go high vo 40 because then it's 40 mil. You can't go high vo 68 because then. I mean, maybe just a 40. I mean, really, I think an answer is just make the Bardish 40 meters. Oh, really? Hmm. I know the server hamsters are struggling, but we'll see what happens. I'm sorry if you guys are hearing me eat, but I got some uh, chicken and rice. It's teriyaki chicken's mint, dude. Mm. Mm. It doesn't have its reload speed now. They already nerfed it a while ago. Here's a thought for you, Chamberlain. I think yeah. this would solve the biggest issue of all time, in my opinion. Just give the Bard 40 meter range. Bard 40 meters, I think, would solve everything. Over what? The Bardish. Just give it 40 meter range. Yeah. Give it 40, you solve That'd all of our problems. Thing. Oh man, he was, he was forty meter range, dude. That'd be a pretty huge adjustment. I mean, I mean, the thing is, it'd have to fight HGD still yeah, and give the killed. and give the LT, give the uh, Kronesca forty five meters oh, hey, instead of forty. Hey, hey. I think if you like just that. adjust yeah, those yeah, two things, you'd be, be all right. Huge submit the shells. Production. Submit the shells, Lance. Submit shells, boys. This is my favorite pastime. Yeah, it'd be a, that'd be a huge quality of life for me because, like, All right. the Bardish is so limited right to... Right to left, right to left. The Bardish is so limited to its diving capability, and it's not as strong as the tank is diving against. Like, it's a, it's a strong tank, but it's not, like, it's not the juggernaut that the HGD is or the, or the battle tank. So, I don't know why they gave us a... A diving pit bull tank that doesn't have as much armor as the HCD. You know what I mean? Because yeah. they give us the range. So I feel like they should have more armor. Or, or like a, a, a yeah, it's like These a, don't a better bounce them. chance, maybe. You know what I mean? Better front armor. I don't know. Like It's, it's a weird it's a weird mechanic they gave us. Like They, they incentivized us to be more aggressive with it, but they didn't give us any advantages at all. Outside of the HB 68. Well... Sure. And also, but you got like. Has that. Hmm. You also have like flasks in the mist, in the myth, or in the midst of all this, and like, so it's they incentivize us to be aggressive and push, but we get no benefits to like better tracks. They don't give us any incentives for, um, like getting turreted. Like, I think of the bard had a, like, severely increased rate to not get tracked or turreted, they'd be huge. Sorry, we're just, we're just trying to delegate tasks right now for the Storm Cannon versus Armor push. Oh, you're good. Because we're going to push with, we're going to push with some tanks in a second. Mm -hmm. Um, are the shells once done? We start, once we start... We're almost there. We're actually almost ready to go. So if you're in the room, you need to be ready. I'm on the gun right now. Oh, okay, good. Oh, we pushed him across. I'm gonna head we over there and start um, presiding, actually. Hmm. Um. But what I was saying is, um, you know, I'd be okay with them wanting us to be like rush tanks or whatever and getting in their face. But with that, they need to give us, like, a really reduced chance to get tracked or turreted. Like, if they want us to be in there and back, like, mm -hmm. that's his job. 
we should have like a yep. real resilience to getting tracked or turreted because if you're an engineer, yeah, you know, you're not going to make a tank to dive close and not armor it up, you know. Um, well, yeah, you, 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 have incent, you have to incentivize us to do that kind of a hard to push. Oh, yeah. And it just, it puts a bad taste in your mouth when you're playing the tank the way it's designed and lose. That sucks. That's what happens a lot. And I just... I agree. We can just fix that. And it's all small details. I've said this too. I've played a lot of games. I've put um, a lot of time to Tarkov um, COD back in the day. Like, I've uh, Rust, I have 1,500 hours. Like, i put a time in a lot of games. Ever since I picked up Foxhole, this is my number one played game. Oh, same, dude. I, I, just, I stopped playing for like 90% of my games because of this. I play a little bit of, I play, I'll play World of Warcraft for the content patches or quests that change, and that's about it. Fuck, I couldn't even get you to finish Mines of Moria with me, dude. Oh, uh, Alright. Please, please don't be see the one that's hanging a minute. Uh, Chamberlain? Oh. Oh my god, I didn't want to get that close. Fuck. Sorry, dude, I'm out of signing rolls. Okay, no, you're good then. Fucking Medin. Ah, he's busy. I'm just saying. Almost feels like what we did at that Warden 120 pallet yesterday. Yeah, actually, Devil, that'd be a really cool okay. thing. Anyone that is not firing or loading the gun, we only need two people here. We don't want to, we'll just watch the storm cannon fire get in armor and meet at the two relic. Wait, what'd you say? I mean, I would like to fire, fire but, uh, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I am not qualified. I don't think I'm qualified. Sure, but... I mean, I would love to, but I don't know if I'm eligible for candidacy. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think... Uh, it's gonna be pretty much all bone dudes, um, mainly the facility guys. Taco. Gotcha. It's gonna right, be, going, um, going RIP, Digital, oh. those guys. Hey. Yeah, there you go. You got that. Oh no, I'm shooting this one. Uh, uh, I don't shoot Taco's that. Taco's my homie, dude. I thought he I'm recruiting him slowly. <laughs> I'm recruiting Taco, bro. I'm recruiting him slowly but surely. You're good, dog. I'm ready to bop this motherfucker, uh, dude. Like nope, nope. Bears, <laughs> so i'm at 600,000 structure I damage I don't, I don't like 649 like all right guys all right there this is where i'm gonna see Beautiful. that's what we're at first and that's what we're gonna be at and then we'll see what i do to the blueberries um but what um devil was saying is um what would be really cool is give it side skirts on the bardiche um, over the tracks. Oh, he's still assigning. Uh, Berg, you might want to jump in our squad too. We're gonna to start sending. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna head up there and start sending uh, cords. Okay. So for me, a live action and shooting this shit. Podcast is gonna be fun this oh, guy, this time. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Corporal guy. His name is H I H H I S K E. 
you want us to help a shell run, that's fine. Uh, we can. All right. I need. I need to get, to get some more. Push, push, but I, uh, really I can't jump off or I die. If you're gonna, yeah, you don't yeah. need the leap front. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna fall down. Gone. Yeah, we don't need any outsiders. We need everyone dedicated to the armor push or infantry push into the front. Tell them we're orcs and we don't like their kind. <laughs> oh, nice. Zug, <laughs> yeah. zug. Zug, zug, brother. Blood and thunder. Um, so, before we get this kicked, um, yeah. we, I mean, I'm going to just keep recording this, and if you want to say anything else, that's fine, but we can have a shorter episode. Is there anything else you want to say to them before we go? Um, yeah, man, I mean, my biggest thing in the game is, um, you know, uh, focus on working more together than apart. The factionals and factions, there's, uh... It's always going to hurt the game in the long run. You know no, what I'll I mean? Like, doing, I like uh, coalitions and whatnot, but like, just keep like in mind that the whole yeah. not my ex, not my problem doesn't really yeah. apply when we all bleed. Our attacks, we can't mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Tanks with the ammo at the base, by the way. Holy shit, I think TSO's getting so fucking man. funny. Dude, they have nine have fucking fire tanks ready to go with Marcy's. Hey, uh, I'm, I got 21 uh, people, Chamberlain. You might want to shut the fuck up. Fuck it, dude. Let's uh, bump the brakes on there. Playboy. Yeah, dude. <laughs> hey, TSO. I'm going to start my stream in a minute. We love you guys. In a minute, now they're getting... Holy shit. Yeah, man. Like, we're together more than apart, man. Like, we're all... We all have the same hex. We're all in the same hex. You know, we're all collies, man, so... You know, work on focusing, focus on working more together than apart. You know, the whole not my hex, not my problem thing is what the biggest barrier that hurts the college from winning wars. You know what I mean? We all got to help each other. And that's the, you know, that's the one thing that the college, the wardens have figured out that the college still need to work on. You know, that, that's my biggest uh, piece of advice for, you know, guys who are joining the game. You know, we're all in this, we're all in the same fight. You know, it's not just one side, it's not just... You know, one coalition versus another. It's well, it turns out quality versus wardens. You know, keep that in mind. Yeah. Well, um, you know, normally we go to an hour and a half. This week we went to an hour. Um, that's cool. There's not a time thing. Thank you for joining the bone, uh, the bone pile, dude. I do appreciate it. Um, let's shoot some fucking storm cannons. I'll be posting this up oh, tonight. Brother. Let's uh, make it rain. Let's uh, let's poop on these fucking wardens, baby. <laughs> Let's fucking do it! Yeah. Alright, let's get her done. Let's fucking go. Alright, I'm, uh, I'm gonna end the stage, boys. Let's fucking do it. See you, boys.